Are you ready to unlock the unknown? I'm here to unbox an Ocean Insight spectrometer so you'll know what to expect when you receive yours. So with Ocean Insight, we like to unlock the unknown, and that's exactly what you're gonna be able to do with your new spectrometer. One of the most important things to look at is this device setup and registration. This information is gonna help you get started with your spectrometer, including giving you an idea of where to download your software from and how to get your device registered and protected for long-term care. The very first step you'll need to take is making sure that you install the software before you connect the spectrometer to your computer. This is a very important step to make sure that you have all the drivers installed on your computer before you connect your spectrometer to it. On the other side, we give you some information on how you can protect your new spectrometer in addition to accessories and where to find your global sales and support. Inside of the box, you're going to find the paperwork, and this paperwork is gonna give you information on your serial number for your spectrometer, as well as your wavelength calibration information. You'll use this information if you need support or to register your spectrometer on our website. We also provide a discount for an online purchase of a fibers, and then on to the good stuff. Your new spectrometer. In this case, this is a flame spectrometer, our workhorse spectrometer, great for all types of measurements. To talk to your spectrometer, we also include a USB cable. The USB cable is going to plug into this port here on the side. And the other thing you'll see here is a nice reminder of when you can send your spectrometer back for recalibration. We recommend annual calibrations just to make sure your wavelength accuracy is as good as it can be. Once you've installed your software and connected your spectrometer to the computer, the next step will be to get light into your spectrometer. And to do that, you're going to connect your fiber to the SMA connector on the front of your spectrometer. What's exciting about this slit assembly is the user can actually change that themselves. And we offer a range of slit sizes to enable you to reconfigure the spectrometer as needed for your application. So if you don't remember anything else from this getting started video, it's absolutely critical that your first step, once you've opened up and inspected your package, is to make sure that you install the software before plugging the spectrometer into the computer. It's as simple as that. Install your software, plug your spectrometer in, hook up your fiber, and you're ready to go.